Hamas's top political leader was killed last week, and it was announced that Yahya Sinwar, who was the mastermind behind the October 7th attack, is going to take his place. What do you think the implications are here? Well, I mean, I think I think that there was very much a problem there in terms of the you know procedural aspects of selecting a successor, um, and this was something off the shelf. I think that. You know, we're looking at dwindling leadership ranks within Hamas as a result of the Gaza campaign, as a result of strikes against their leaders in other places that we, you know, we're talking about. Uh, I think that his selection is sort of a bad housekeeping seal of approval, shall we say, for his approach, um, you know, for, I guess, ultimately for October 7th, people signing off and saying, you know, we get behind that right now. It represents a consolidation authority in, in his hands right now. Um, on the practicalities of it, it's not clear necessarily that that it would change, you know, operationally in the sense that we're not going to see him all of a sudden coming out of his, you know, tunnels in Gaza, traveling around the world like the heads of the political bureau have done, you know, to raise funds and to, to meet with other leaders. I mean, that's not about to happen. Chances, chances are that will devolve to other people to do that kind of work. Um, but the symbolism, of course, is strong. And, uh, you know, and, and, and he will continue to have the loudest voice, I would say, in the Hamas choir in terms of, you know, which way this goes. Does it move towards a settlement? Does the fighting continue with Israel?